I swear this game isn't about psychedelic shrooms. The week-long Brackies game jam just finished a few days ago, and I was able to enter my puzzle platformer, Mush Work Together. Terrible names aside, this is how I made it. The jam started on a Sunday night for me. With the theme reveal being Stronger Together, my mind went to two different games. Blackthorn Prod's The Dreadful Whispers, which I know a lot of you would know, alongside the Fireboy and Watergirl series. For my game, I was going to combine the two. I've never made a puzzle game, I've made plenty of platformers. How could this go wrong? With an idea in mind, I spent the night creating this tile map. Because I have the big stupid, I forgot to record this, but yeah, this is how it turned out. As I'm definitely not an artist, I was actually really happy with what I was able to produce here. It's a little rough around the edges, but hey, it's a game jam. I finished off the night by creating these mushroom characters, which turned out so cute and if I could have them as plushies, I would have a thousand. Going into the afternoon of day two now, Monday after school, I actually created the Unity project. I got some simple movement down with just walking and running and jumping, and that's really all of the movement I needed for the game. To finish off the night, I also created these tiles for the background. As you can see here, they had been placed along behind the player and the ground and randomised to make it feel a bit more natural. The cracks and growth on the bricks helped break up the colour and form to give it a sort of worn down appearance. Again, I was really happy with the art as I usually just stick to using geometric shapes. Moving straight forward into day 3 now, I was able to make the scene feel and look a bit more lively before I headed off to school in the morning. I simply added some post-processing on top of the artwork and created these torches. They, um, yeah, they didn't look the greatest at this time, but I did work on them later. Later that Tuesday night, I worked on the player animations to get it squishing around and also the ability to click on a different mushroom to begin moving it. Surprisingly, this wasn't too hard and all I wanted was to make it feel polished. By this stage, things were going well had the majority of the artwork and player movement down. So, moving right along into the afternoon of day 4, I randomly just created the main menu. Why? I don't know, it's a game jam, logic isn't involved. I already thought of this absolutely incredible name of Mush Work Together before this, and yeah, just threw a few buttons together. Earlier that day, I was able to compose a soundtrack for the game too. I didn't record me making it because I was sitting at a smooth 3% battery at school, but this is the finished product. It did take a while and I'm still not super happy with it, but it turned out okay. I'll do a run of the game at the end of the video if you'd like to listen to it. That night, I also had created the most essential gameplay features for the project, which was that when the mushrooms were able to enter areas of the same colour spikes as they were, but others would die. You can already see how this idea could be expanded upon to create much more interesting puzzle and level designs. The next night was about the same, just working out the structure to continue these puzzle features. Something that took me a while was actually getting the mushrooms to move on top of each other like this. The system I set up definitely isn't the most stable, but it works well enough. Honestly, it's just a whole jumble of spaghetti code, but that is kind of the point of game jams, just to have fun and experiment with new ideas. The next day now, day 5, I created the sound effects for my project. Using the great tool BFXR, I made little blips for jumping, dying, completing levels and pressing buttons. It's only a small detail, but really adds a lot to your game. I also created the different menu scenes, being the credits and level select menus, and I also created the first level of the game. This here was simply to teach the player how to move and jump around a stage. Working later into the night, I was able to get a whole 10 levels of the game completed, which was just super awesome. So, I had the weekend left to work on the project. 48 hours from now, needing to create more levels and simply polish up the game. Unfortunately, on Saturday I didn't have too much time to be able to work on the project. However, I was able to create 4 more levels and also brainstormed a bunch of ideas. 
So, waking up on Sunday morning with about 14 hours left of the game jam, I began working on a variety of colourful flowers and vines alongside some grass types. I placed these with a randomising system around each of the stages to make the game feel a bit more immersive and set the scene within the grove-like garden style of the world. I think this was a really awesome polishing touch for the game and it wouldn't have looked nearly as good as it does now without these. I matched the flowers and vines to the colours of the mushrooms in the level, and I also decided to create different coloured torches to match this theme. I think that looks really cool now and with some better effects, everything was coming into place. I spent the afternoon of the last day of the jam simply making more levels, polishing, squishing any bugs and adding all of this new artwork in. I created this quick splash screen, and yeah, things were ready to build. I went through and created the game jam page and was able to submit it about two hours before the deadline. I had tons of fun with this project and it was definitely something new for me to try out which is great. If you'd like to play it for yourself there's a link in the description and here is a run of the game. Thanks so much for watching the video everyone, see ya. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and do all of the cool things. See ya.